Hey everyone, uh, welcome to 2019. I know I haven't posted a video in a while and I know I'm t I know you guys are sick and tired of hearing my excuses, but um, the main changes is we're in a new year. Um, I did find a new job uh, from my previous one, so I am still transitioning into my new job, so that's why I haven't been posting in a while. And plus, usually my day's off. I don't prioritize YouTube, but I should, but I did make a new resolution, which is the same resolution as last year, but I failed it, but I'm actually going to try to keep it this time. I'm going to try to post at least one YouTube video a month. I know it sounds like terrible, but for me, prioritizing the way my life is right now and YouTube, I I can say I can do one YouTube video a month, but I'm going to try to do more if I can, uh, but it's just honestly, it's just the ideas that I run out of, and that's why I don't feel like inspiration. Like, I watch tons of YouTube videos, but the YouTube videos that I see in the beauty community now are, like, unrealistic. Like, it's just more for shock value and entertainment than actual knowledge, I find. Some of it is knowledge, but some of it is just pure entertainment, and I'm here to be knowledgeable and give you actually really good information and not just for entertainment purposes. That's just how I feel about it. I know people might feel differently. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to talk about my favorite products that I've been using recently over the past few months. Um, some of them are targeted towards winter, not really, but mostly it's just a mix of everything. So I'm going to go on with the hair care products first because it's the smallest. Um, excuse my hair today. I need to wash it today, but I just had my hair up right now. But the first product, they're actually all from Way because I love Way hair care. The first one is the Way hair care wave spray. I spray this onto my hair um, after I comb my hair with a curling iron or with a straightener or whatever it is. After I comb my hair, I always spray this onto my hair. Sometimes I spray it directly on it, sometimes I spray it onto my hands and then judge it into my hair. Um, but I find this product makes my hair look so beachy, so wavy. I love it. Um, I also spray it on my hair like the day after I've curled my hair just to re, um, reignite the waves again and just to like recurl them again. Not obviously to the exact same waves that I had the night before, but just to reactivate them again. I really like it. Um, the next hair care product is the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. I don't necessarily use this as a body oil. I more use it for, um, after I towel dry my hair, I use it as my leave-in conditioner or leave-in hair oil. I just put it on my mid shafts to ends. I'm going to probably do it um, right after I wash my hair today. But this hair oil is amazing. I highly recommend it. I do have another size of this already, so I'm excited to use it. Uh, the last one that's in corporation with my wave spray, I use this Way uh, Memory Mist. So right before I about to curl my hair, or I don't ever straighten my hair because my hair is naturally straight, but right before I curl my hair or do anything to my waves to my hair, um, I spray this all over my hair and then brush it with a comb and then I curl and curl my hair. This to me, what it does, it um, gives your hair some grip and some texture before you actually put it the uh, curling iron onto your hair um, and also helps remember your hair so it's kind of like a pre hairspray before you put on your real hairspray. I still put on a hairspray after and it also acts as a heat protectant as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought another ball this I can't remember but I really love this memory mist it's amazing. Now moving on to skincare. Um, I do switch my serum, my moisturizer, my eye cream um, every so often so I'm not really committed to like my favorite ones. I do have a favorite ones but they're just finished up right now. But these new products I've been using or they're OGs I've got back to been using are what I've been loving. So my skin has been so much better since I started using this product here. This is the Dr. Dart Derma Clear Micro Water. So basically it is a cleansing water and toner all in one. I still just use it as a cleansing water to remove off my makeup. I still use a regular toner because I'm OCD like that and I like to make sure I double cleanse and everything. But this has made my skin transform. Like my skin looks and feels like a baby's butt now which is crazy because I haven't gotten back to this texture in quite some time especially because the winter here in the Toronto area has been like freaking freezing. Like right now today it's like feels like minus 35 outside that's in Celsius, but yeah. This cleansing water slash toner is amazing. I highly recommend it. Again, it's a Dr. Jart Derma Clear Micro Water. Life-changing. Skincare product, again, is another Dr. Jart product. This is a Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. Um, I use this on my body, not necessarily the face. 
Um, but I use it in the areas where my eczema is. So if I know my eczema is about to finish or like about to like, you know, heal, I put this on. And what this does, it has ceramides in it. I think I believe it's five or six different ceramides in it that help repair your skin and hold retention of moisture into your skin. So this is really great. Um, so I highly recommend this. This is good. I have yet to use the toner. I know the toner is like really good as well. Um, cleansers. So... I always change my cleanser every so often, and every time I go back to this cleanser, I like I always think, why did I stop using you? You were so good. It's kind of like how I feel when I read books, and then when I stop reading a book, I go back to it. I'm like, why did I stop reading you? You're so good. Um, this is a First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. This is designed for sensitive skin, has no fragrances or anything in it, but um, I love this. It's so um, milky, foamy, not too foamy where it dries you out. But I use this in conjunction with my Foreo Luna, and I'm obsessed with it. I don't know why I stopped using it. The only thing is, I don't really like the... Even though it says Fragrance Tree, the Fragrance Tree smell kind of bothers me. Even though, like... It's not as bad as, like, the smell of, um... The, to me, the Soy Face Cleanser, the fresh one. I cannot stand the smell of it because it's, like, the fake cucumber smell, and I don't like the smell of fake cucumber. But this is not... It's better than that smell, in my opinion. But yeah, I love this cleanser so much, and I highly recommend it for those who have dry eczema skin. Now, my what you'll see, I have a lot of Josie Marin. I've been obsessed with Josie Marin these past few weeks and months because my skin has been so dry because of the winter. So the first thing, I've gone through like so many containers of this. This is probably like my third container. You'll see in like my products I've used up video. This is a Josemarin Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter in the scent Vanilla Apricot. I always get Vanilla Apricot. It's like my favorite scent of these body butters. This is so great on my eczema. It is so hydrating. It's so rich. It's just, ugh. It's like literally heaven on earth when you put this on. And then the Josemarin Argan Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil is another thing that I've been loving. This is basically a thicker version or like a more hydrating version of a Vaseline. Um, and I put this in the areas of my eczema, and too much of this can cause acne um, in that area because it can clog those pores, so just be very cautious when using this. You don't need to use too much of it. Um, you can use this anywhere where you do have dry skin, even on the face, but just use a sparing amount. But on my eczema, I put a lot because areas that have eczema are more dry compared to the rest of your body, so I love that. So these are mostly on the body, these two I use. And then on the face, I've been using the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil, just the original formula, not the light. Um, I love this product so much. I use this oil right before I put on my eye cream and serum, and my skin has been loving it. And the main areas where I put my oil is right here, right here, and on my neck area. Um, basically anywhere where I feel extra dry in the face, so I guess kind of my T-zone, but mainly just in this middle part, not the T, just the, the stick part of the T. Um, so that is that, and now I'm going to move on to eyes. I have just so many products laid out here, I just need to figure out which one I'm going to choose. Actually, I'm going to show you this one first. So, this Makeup Forever plate. Uh, the reason I use this a lot is in conjunction with my foundations, because I mix my foundations now. I don't just wear one foundation anymore because I'm extra like that. Um, ever since I started mixing foundations, I love the look of how the foundation looks on my face compared to just one foundation. So this is my mixing plate that I use and I've been obsessed with it. Uh, now moving on to eyes. I've been using the Stila, the Glitter and Glows. So I got this in the trio set um, and I've been obsessed. So I have Gold Goddess, Diamond Dusk, and Kitten Karma. And the main thing when I use these, I put them, I put these on my eyelid where it just has eyeshadow primer on. I don't put it on top of eyeshadow because from the reviews that I read they said do not put any like eyeshadow underneath this. Just put this directly onto your skin. It's a lot better. And then for me to blend it, I actually put a little bit of an eyeshadow just to blend the edges of it to make it a lot smoother. But I mostly mainly do glitter cut creases when I use these. Um, I don't do cr cut creases too often mainly because I feel like my eye shape is I have to make it very dramatic to do a cut crease. So I do a very subtle cut crease when I do these ones. Another thing that I've been using that I'm wearing on my eyes today is the Urban Decay Space Cowboy Eyeshadow. Basically, it's a skin tone color eyeshadow that you can use. That just like a, it's just nicely, not nicely. Wow, I can't talk. It adds a nice sparkle to your lid, especially when you have an all matte look. Like today, I have an all matte eyeshadow look, but it just has some like sparkle on the lid, which is so pretty. Um, another thing I've been loving is a Smashbox Cover Shot Palette in the color Golden Hour. And 
Oh, it's kind of messy. As you can see here, I've been like really using it. Um, so these two colors, I basically almost finished. But the reason why these two colors I use so often is because they're like my main eyelid color. So right after I put my eyeshadow primer on, I use this just to make the eyeshadow primer not as sticky. I have hit pan on the color Psycho? Psyched? Psyched. Psycho? Psyched. Yeah, so I've been hit pan on this one. But the other colors I haven't been using up so often, but these two have a hit major pan on. Basically, it's just a skin tone shade. It's just convenient for me to grab, so that's why I use those up, basically. Um, next is this uh, Anastasia Highlighting Duo Pencil in Matte Camille and Sh Sand Shimmer. And I mostly use the color uh, Matte Camille just on days where um, when my eyebrows... When I need to know, I get need to get them waxed, but I put that underneath my brow after I fill them in just to give that some shape. Um, so it, it kind of camouflages the hair in that area too, just so I can give it a lot more shape and not make it look as feathery. Because when your brows are f um, filled in and you know you need to pluck them, they look extra feathery than normal. So this cuts the feathering at the bottom. I leave it feathery at the top, but the bottom I don't want it to be as feathery. Okay, now moving on to face. I have several different foundations, but the main thing I want to show that I mixed in with my found all my foundations now is my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flaws Filter. It is amazing. Like I don't even know what I did with before using this. Like I, I haven't lived my my fully best life until I started using this. I got it in the color three in the color it's a light medium color. So color three Hollywood Flaws Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I mix this with all my foundations now. I don't just wear my foundations alone anymore. Even with BB creams, I make sure I. BB creams or cushions. I make sure I put this on before. But the current foundations that I've been loving, uh, that I've been like majorly obsessed with, the two main ones that I like love to mix together with my Hollywood Flawless Filter are these two foundations and then my Hollywood Flawless Filter. So it's the YSL All-in-One Glow, the Touche Clat Foundation, so the one that's in the squeeze tube, and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, I use the color 5 in the Luminous Silk. I use the color B30 in the YSL, and obviously, like I said, shade 3 in this one. These three together is what my ideal, like, face is. Um, I know it's pretty pricey. I didn't plan it to be that pricey, but i just been so obsessed. I already have a backup of this YSL foundation. It's amazing. This foundation, it's medium coverage, um, and it looks like natural skin, and it's very hydrating, so if you have really dry eczema skin, this would be great for you. I always apply these with a beauty blender. The Luminous Silk Foundation is medium coverage, medium, like, buildable, but it's not necessarily designed for dry skin, I find, especially in this winter time. Like, it's okay for me to wear in the summer, but in the fall, winter, I wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't give the look like it's supposed to give. Um, that's why I have to mix these together to give me the outdoor look. So, all year round, these three mixed together is, like, heaven on earth. Um... And another foundation that I've been loving is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, just the original formula in the color Nude. This tinted moisturizer, I mix it with a lot of my foundations just to sheer it out or just to give it more hydration. Because since it is a tinted moisturizer, it gives a little bit of color, but it's more of a moisture factor. So I always mix this in with any of the combination of foundations that I'm going to show you. Because it just makes it more hydrating for me. Another foundation I've been loving is the new Laura Mercier Floss... Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. Um, they introduced this foundation just right after the Flawless Fusion. And I have the Flawless Fusion, but I can't really wear it because it's not designed for my type of skin. It's more for normal to oily, and I'm more just dry. I'm not even normal to dry anymore. Um, but this foundation is so gorgeous. And sometimes, like I said before, is I mix it with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and it's such a beautiful mix. And if you mix these three together, oh my god, it's just even better. So, beautiful. And the last one is I have a mini version of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid. I have the stick foundation because that's designed for normal to dry, but the stick foundation can be a little bit heavier in the winter time. So I, I got a small one of this just to wear, to mix it in with my other foundation. I have worn it alone, but I do prefer to mix it with other ones. Now moving on to the other face products, concealers. So um, I've been loved using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. It's basically a concealer that's like... It is soft matte. I apply this with my fingers. I don't really use a brush with it. I use like my beauty blender like on the edges of it just to blend it into my skin. I use this to spot conceal um, any acne that I have on my face, which is not very often at all. That's why I haven't really hit anything on it because I don't really break out too much. But I love to use this on places where I want to cover up my acne. And then I was using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer a few weeks ago, but then I switched it out 
with my YSL All Always Concealer in the color number 2. And the reason why um, I switched out my concealers because I felt the Tarte Shape Tape was too dry, especially for this weather that I've been having right now, that this is more hydrating for me. And I love this foundation, this concealer, because for me, it's like the more hydrating and full coverage version of the NARS Rain and Creamy Concealer. Like, I love that concealer, but more it's more if I'm feeling medium coverage, but this is fuller coverage, and I do prefer this more than the other one. But I don't mind switching it in. Like, this, I would say, is probably my, one of my Holy Grail concealers. But the NARS one, I can't remember if I told you, but I'm the color custard in the NARS Soft Matte. Same thing for the Rain and Creamy. I'm color custard. But this one, I'm with shade number two. And I use it. I use a, that concealer underneath my eyes, just that V-shape underneath my eyes, not too much. And I use, blend it with my Beauty Blender. Um, and then for other face products, I have my new favorite bronzer. Uh, the other Guerlain bronzer I use, the Terracotta, the bronzing one, is still one of my favorites. But I've been obsessed with this one here. This is the Terracotta Light. It's a Sun Kiss Healthy Glow Powder, light and long-lasting, in the color number two, Natural Rosé, Natural Cool. So basically what it is, it's a mix of different bronzers and a blush together. And a lot of people do use their bronzer slash blush together so that's why I'm wearing it on my face today um, with another face powder that I've been obsessed with but this one gives you that s really soft healthy looking glow to your face for those who don't like to wear blush and bronze at the same time you can wear these together but I like to wear blush and bronzer because I'm extra like that um, another thing I've been loving is the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. So this is what I have on my cheeks today as a blush. I mainly just use this product as a blush, not necessarily as a highlighter. You can use this as a highlighter if you're a deeper skin tone, but I'm more light to medium. More on the light side right now because we're in winter. Um, and I like to use this on my cheeks as a nice glow. Uh, and then one of my favorite highlighters is these... I have like three, I guess. My OG all of all time is the Becca Champagne Pop. This is still my first one. I bought two more as a backup, but like I love Champagne Pop. I highly recommend it. If you haven't played with it, you need to. It's amazing. I can't get enough of it. And I also I like to layer my Champagne Pop with the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie collection. This is the color Mirme. So I know they talk about Fuego a lot in their collection, but I'm not a fan of Fuego, mainly because I think I maybe got a bad batch, but my pigmentation of it, like when I touch it, it's hard to get pigment out of it, and I don't really like that color versus this one. This is Mirame, um, but this color I prefer way more than the Fuego. Fuego, it looks more like Champagne Pop to me when I look at it in the pan, but the, for some reason, Mirame, I love the color way much better, and I get a lot of compliments when I wear this highlighter. Um, so when I hit... When I finish this, this is all I can have, so I gotta make sure I save this because they're not gonna bring this back. They brought back Fuego, but they're not gonna bring back this one, but this is my favorite one out of both their highlighters that they created. Actually, they have three now. Yeah, anyways. Um, and then the last highlighter that I discovered that I'm wearing today, the super blending highlighter I have on today, this is the Anastasia and Breezy highlighter. And when I first saw this launch, I didn't buy it because I was like, oh, I don't need another highlighter. But then after using it and getting compliments on it, I'm like, yeah, this is why I bought it. And it looks really similar to Champagne Pop. Um, but this is, Champagne Pop is a little bit more peachy, whereas Embreezy is a little bit more golden. It's like more of an actual look of a champagne, whereas this one's more of a pink champagne um, or peachy. But I love both of them. So, oh my God, I just ruined it. Ah! Don't touch anymore! <laughs> Okay, I love this highlighter so much. I like to layer highlighters. I don't just wear one sometimes. I always like to wear two because I make sure I like that. I'm okay with that. And another thing I've been loving, especially on days where I'm like super in a rush and I'm running out of time to like get ready, is this Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Edit, the unlocked one. So this is the one that they released during the holidays that doesn't have the marbleized blushes in it. And I prefer this one over the marbleized ones because I know... That one was um, something that they release every year, but different colors. But this one is just like all solid colors, and I do prefer this. So what this one looks like, it has the all-over face powder, um, which is the color Soft Light. And this one is a finishing powder as well. It's called Filtered Light. This one is their bronzer called Golden, Light, Golden Bronze Light. This one is a blush called Nude Glow. This is blush called Mood Flush. And this is a metallic strobe highlighting powder called Champagne Strobe Light. Um, I mix these two colors together here as my bronzer. 
and sometimes I mix these two blushes here to get my blush. I don't really use this color at all. I could use it underneath my eyes if I wanted to, but I haven't really touched this color at all. And this one here, I use it as my highlight. So if I want a really soft look, I'd use all these together here. Um, but I'm really happy that this product has worked out for me because they used to have a, well, it's a permanent line now, but they had a trio of like three ambient lighting powders and I did buy that years and years ago, but it broke me out, but these ones didn't break me out, so that made me so happy. Um, maybe it was my cleansing routine or something about it, but like, I was scared that this one was going to break me out and it didn't, so I'm so happy about that. Um, next we're going on to Prama's. This is my <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood... Not, not Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood. It's Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. Wow. I'm just, I just love this Hollywood Fall Center so much. I like to talk about it all the time. But this Wonder Glow, I love it. This is my second container or third container now. I have another one ready to go as a backup. I'm using it today mixed with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Nourishing Primer. I love this primer because it gives me a nice glow. It gives me extra hydration because it has hyaluronic acid in it. I just love it so much. And now, last products are my lip products, and then we're done. So lip products, my favorite lip balm ever, now that they introduced new flavors to it that's still limited edition, unfortunately, is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love the lip sleeping mask so much. I got my dad hooked onto it, so <laughs> you're welcome, dad. This is the color, not color, wow. This is a scent, Apple Lime. Um, this is the one that I'm currently using right now. I made a pretty good dent in it. Um, I do have the grapefruit one, and I have the regular one that's just like the natural, like the raspberry one. But uh, I had to buy one in every single one, every single flavor. I didn't buy the vanilla because I'm not a huge fan of vanilla um, fragrances. Like, I would not buy it in like a fragrance. It's just there's something with vanilla that I find it's just, it's just way too sweet for me. I'm not a fan of it. I'll eat vanilla cake though, but you know. Um, and then l lip gloss. This is a, <laughs> excuse me. This is a Buxom full-on lip cream in the color White Russian. This is when they had their White Russian collection. That's why there's like a little crown here on top. I have several one of these. Um, this is probably my second container of it or my third container. I can't remember. But I'm obsessed with this. I'm wearing this on top of right... Wearing this on top of... My other favorite lipstick is a Charlotte Tilbury... Um, it is a Kissing Lipstick in the color Bitch Perfect. I love this color so much. Um, as you can see, I used a pretty good amount of it. But there's a Kissing Lipstick in Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury, and I put this one on top, the Buxom Full and Lip Cream in the color White Russian. White Russian looks good on every single lip color. It just tones it down, makes it more milky and, like, pink. It's just beautiful. Um, that is all my current favorites at the moment. If you guys have any additional questions or any requests for certain videos down below, let me know. I know I make the same videos all the time and I know that I'm like really aware of that. However, I do have a lot of, um, plans going forward in 2019. So I'm really excited to film those experiences for you. Some of them I can't put them on YouTube because of copyright reasons, like for example, Shawn Mendes concert I'm going to, and Batch Boys concert, and I'm going to Vegas again beginning of June. Um, but the concert part I can't talk I can't post because of copyright reasons, but the rest, you'll see it on footage. And I'm also going to Thailand in March. So be on the lookout for those vlogs. Um, but yeah, hope to see you guys soon. Let me know if you have any requests down below. I miss you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye.